welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to network theorems and we're discussing about reciprocity theorem and so far we have discussed the basic statement of uh, reciprocity theorem explanation and we have discussed some questions so here we are again with uh, another question on reciprocity theorem so uh, here as usual we have divided the circuit in two parts depending on the uh, location of the voltage source okay depending on the location of the voltage source we have divided it into two parts so here uh, the 50 volt voltage source is in the first branch in the second figure the only difference is that it is shifted to the second branch so here we have to find out the currents in the respective branches so here uh, with respect to the location of the voltage source we have to find out this current here and this current here and if these two current values are the same then reciprocity theorem is verified okay so redrawing the circuit first taking this circuit into consideration so we'll be redrawing the circuit so it is 50 volt okay then we have 5 ohm then again 5 ohm then 10 ohm this is 5 ohm 5 ohm 10 ohm then 4 ohm and 4 ohm so we'll be using the nodal analysis approach here okay so let us say that uh, this voltage here is V the node voltage let us assume this current here flowing is I here it is I1 and here it is I2 so the KCL equation here that will be I equals to I1 plus I2 writing it in terms of the voltage and resistance that is 50 minus V by 10 50 minus V divided by the total resistance 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 that is for I I1 is V minus ground that is 0 volt by 10 so simply V by 10 plus I2 V minus ground by total resistance 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 V by 10 plus V by 8 that implies 50 by 10 that is equal to 5 is equal to V by 10 plus V by 10 how minus V by 10 move to the right hand side became plus plus V by 8 or that so this is here is equal to 5 is equal to 2 V by 10 plus V by 8 that implies 5 is equal to V by 5 plus V by 8 LCM is 40 so that is 8 V plus 5 V so here we have uh, 5 is equal to V by 5 plus V by 8 which is equal to this much just 13 V by 40 that implies uh, that implies 
5 is equal to 13 v by 40 or v is equal to 5 into 40 that is 200 by 13 which is equal to the value is coming around 15.38 volts so we have got v okay so now we have to determine i1 okay we have to determine i1 because the shifting has to happen here so here i1 is equal to this current here this current here i1 this current i1 is equal to v by 10 ohm which is 15.38 by 10 which is equal to 1.538 ampere this is very important because in the next part this 50 volt voltage source will be shifted to this second branch so the current in the second branch becomes very important okay so now we have to focus on the second figure by shifting the 50 volt to the second branch so again we have to redraw the circuit so it will be 5 ohm 5 ohm this is 10 ohm here then we have 50 volt shifted okay to the second branch and then we have 4 ohm and 4 ohm here okay so now here in this part this current flowing through these two 5 ohm resistor that becomes important so let us assign the current directions so here let's say the current flowing from here the source is i dash here let's say it is i1 dash and here it is let's say i2 dash okay so again we have to use nodal analysis we can use other approaches also but we'll use nodal analysis here so the kcl equation here is i dash this current it's divided into two parts at this node i1 dash plus i2 dash so we'll write it in terms of the voltage and current uh, voltage and resistances so i1 dash is equal to 50 minus v dash by 10 i1 dash is equal to v dash by 10 v dash by 10 the two 5 ohm resistor added together becomes 10 then i2 dash is v dash by 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 v dash by 8 okay now that implies when we simplify it further okay 50 by 10 is equal to 5 we take the v dash by 10 to the other side which is v dash by 10 plus v dash by 10 plus v dash by 8 okay so v dash by 10 v dash by 10 becomes 2 v dash by 10 which is v dash by 5 plus v dash by 8 this is 40 VLCM then it is 8 V dash plus 5 V dash is equal to 13 V dash by 40 Sorry. okay now that implies V dash here is 5 into 40 by 13 again that is 200 by 13 that is equal to 
3.38 volt. So you see the node voltages are the same in both these cases. Okay. Now we have to determine in this case our interest is this current, this current flowing through the two 5 ohm resistors. So here that current is I1 dash, this I1 dash, this current. Okay, this current. So that is V dash by 5 plus 5, that is V dash by 10. So here I1 dash is equal to uh, V dash by 10, which is equal to 15.38 by 10, which is equal to 1.538 ampere. So I1 dash is equal to 1.538 ampere we previously calculated for the first circuit the first circuit this current that is i1 as 1.538 ampere also so we finally we have proved that these two currents they are equal these two currents they are the same they are equal so it means that when the source is shifted single source okay always remember reciprocity theorem is applicable for single source networks so here when the source is shifted from one branch to the other the branch to which it is being shifted the current in that branch the previous current in that branch that also shifts to the other so see in the first case 50 volt volt uh, voltage source was here the current here was 1.538 ampere here when this 50 volt voltage source shifted here okay to the second branch originally 50 volt was here it was it shifted from this branch to the this branch so the current in the branch in which it was originally present that was also equal to 1.538 ampere so this is what reciprocity theorem is so here i am doing all this proving and all that but when you will find circuits like this you don't have to solve them okay you don't have to solve them go for mesh nodal anything like that directly you can write that see this is the direct application of reciprocity theorem suppose the question will be asked what is the current in this branch okay two figures will be given and you will be asked what is the current in this branch okay the question will be like this so directly you will say or you will figure out in your mind that this is a case of reciprocity theorem application and as per reciprocity theorem this source is shifted to this branch so you only have to figure out this current here you have to calculate and directly you can write here that this current is also 1.538 ampere okay so there are different ways in which questions will be asked suppose uh, the current here will be given and you will directly have to write so it will be to test whether you know uh, the application of reciprocity theorem different ways in which questions can be framed okay so this is the third question related to application of reciprocity theorem